my dear students, welcome back. After we learned the times table, today we are going to learn the relation between multiplication and division. This lesson is to understand how multiplication and division are related. An example. Felisa and Mei Ling went to an arcade. They played four games that cost three dollars each. What was the total cost? So, to do this, you're going to arrange counters in an array with three rows and four columns because they are four games and each game costs three dollars. So, we're going to make an array like this, a table like this, with four columns, these are the four games, and three rows like this. And we're going to distribute the counters, a counter in each box here. So, if we count, let's count how many counters are there to know what the cost is. So, let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, there are 12 counters total. This means that 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. We know that 4 times 3 equals 12 from the timetable of 4 or 3. So, if we want to write a multiplication sentence, we will write 3 times 4 equals 12. And 3 means for the 3 rows, and 4 is for the 4 columns, and the total is 12. The factor, we have two factors multiplied together to get the product. So, 3 and 4 are, are called factors. 3 and 4 are called factors. So, when we multiply two numbers together, these two numbers are called factors. And the answer of the multiplication is called product. So, the total cost was $12. If you want to write a related division sentence. So, to relate multiplication with division, we will get the product, which is 12, and divide it by one of the factors. For example, we divide it by 3. If you divide 12 by 3, you will find it's equal to 4. So, 12 here is the total. So, we divide the total by the number of rows we find the answer is the number of the columns or also we can write 12 divided by the number of columns for we will find the answer is 3 is the number of rows in this division sentence we call the 12 is the dividend and we divide the dividend by the number called the divisor and the answer of the division is called the quotient so, here we learned about four new words. We know factors. Factors are the numbers that we multiply together to get a bigger number. So, 3 and 4 are called factors in this multiplication sentence, and 12 is called the product in this multiplication sentence. In the, in the division sentence, the 12 is called the dividend. Why? Because we divide it by one of the factors. And here it's it's not called a factor, it's called divisor. So, dividend divided by the divisor, we get the quotient. Effect family. What is a fact family? You know a family as your father, mother, sister and brother. There are also a family for multiplication and division. So, multiplication and division are related. So, let's see how. A fact family is a set of four related multiplication and division facts that use the same three numbers. As you see here, the fact family for the numbers 3, 4, and 12. We know that 3, 4, and 12 are related numbers, and they are related by these sentences. We have multiplication 3 times 4 equals 12, and of course, the vice versa, 4 times 3 equals 12 as well. And if we use the division sentence, we will divide 12 divided by 3 equals 4, and 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So we have 
two multiplication sentences and two division sentences. So here's one, two, three, and four sentences. Two of them are multiplication, two of them are division, and these are called the fact family of the numbers 3, 4, and 12. Let's have another example for the fact family. The fact family for the numbers 6, 9, and 54. From the times table we learned before, we know that 6 times 9 equals 54. So this means that 6 times 9 equals 54. And of course, also 9 times 6 equals 54. And for the division, we will divide the bigger number 54 divided by 6 equals 9, and 54 divided by 9 equals 6. So again, how can we get this? We will write 6, 9, and 54. We have two small numbers, and this is the bigger number. Okay, you can make a square on the biggest number. And you know that the small numbers together, multiplication. So I will write here multiply, 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 and here divided and divided. This is how I'm going to write the family. Two multiplication and the comma here, and two division and the comma between them. Okay, for the multiplication, I will, I will write here the two small numbers, six and nine, and here nine and six. Then equals, equals the bigger number, which is 54, and here 54. So for multiplication, I write on the left-hand side of the equal sign, I write the two small numbers, and on the right-hand side, I write the biggest number, which is the product. For the division, I start always by the biggest number, which is 54 here and 54 the other one. And here I write 6 and here I write 9 equals equals and then here 54 divided by 6, what remains is 9 and 54 divided by 9, what remains is Thank you for watching the video. I hope you understand and you know now the relation between multiplication and division. Please subscribe, like the video, leave any comments if you have any, and to the next video. Bye!